Hi folks, welcome back to the shop here at Project Pine Hills. Today I want to talk about this Klein Tools 8-in-1 adjustable length stubby screwdriver. You can see the part number here is 32308. There's the bit loadout. You can see it's impact rated. It's got a magnetic bit holder in it. Quick look at the back. You can see it's made in Taiwan. All right, let's take a look at this stubby screwdriver. You can see it says Klein Tools right here on the side. I spin it around, you can see that part number here, 32308. We pull out the tail cap, you can see it has bits stored in the handle. Look at the end here, you can see it says eight and one stubby. We look at the bit carousel here, you can see the bit loadout. These are stubby bits, we'll talk about that here in a minute. But you have these six bits stored in this bit carousel on this driver. Now there's a number two Phillips here in the bit holder, that's the seventh bit. We take that out, and this quarter inch hex is what gives you the eight count on this bit, because you can turn quarter inch hex screws. Now this eight and one stubby driver was released with the Klein 14 and one adjustable screwdriver. And these two screwdrivers were released at the same time and they have similar features. That is, you can push down this cullet and you can increase the shank length that has three positions. There's the first position, there's the second position, there's the third position. And of course you can take it all the way out and you can put it in an impact, it is impact rated. So that's the basics of this tool. Now, one thing that's different about this tool is if you look at these bits. Now, if you compare these two bits, this is a standard one inch bit. And this is the Klein stubby bit here on the left. You can see this one's about a quarter inch shorter than the one inch bit. So there's your standard bit. And you can see it's about one inch. And there's the Klein stubby bit, which is about three quarters of an inch. Now you can see these bits are not magnetic. But when you put them in the bit holder, it magnetizes the bit. It's got a very strong rare earth magnet. Does an excellent job of retaining the bit. One thing I noticed about the stubby driver is these bits can be a little bit hard to pull out. I have to fight it a little bit, you know, get the bit out, put it in the tip of the screwdriver, put it back, it's not too bad. It goes in relatively easily when you want to, want to put it back, but anytime you want to take these bits out, it can be a little bit hard to get them out. Sometimes to the point where you might feel like you need to pry them out. Like this Robertson bit, for example, almost to the point where I feel like I want to get in here and pry this bit out to get it out. And I think part of the reason these bits are hard to get out is because of the flanges. But the other part, I think, is just because you have a tight space here. You're dealing with these stubby bits. There's not a lot of extension here. And you can see they're a good bit shorter than your standard one inch bit that would allow you to get a better grip on the bit and get more leverage to take this bit out versus what you can have on this three quarter inch bit. I think it's part of the reason it's a little challenging to get these bits out. And I'm not sure why Klein went with the stubby bit design, though I think it works okay in this application, because they had enough room to put these bits in the handle. You can see here is the space that this current carousel takes up. If we drop back here, you can see there's more room on the handle for standard one inch bits. Now here's a quick comparison to Klein's stubby multi-bit driver. Now this thing is great, inexpensive. It has four bits in it, five if you include the hex shaft, but you know, this is an easy, pull it out, flip it around. You have four bits on you, four different stubby screwdrivers. You're not carrying four different stubby handles. So it's very handy to pull these bits out and change this driver up. And you get a comparison here of the size difference between these two drivers. So one of the things I'm not crazy about with this driver is if I wanna make this shorter, and take this shaft out, I can't take one of these stubby bits and just put it in the cullet. Now, I can just rest it there on the ball bearings. And if I push this down, the bit's gonna fall into the handle. But if I don't push that cullet down, I put this bit in, I can turn this bit, but it's not retained from falling out. Now look what happens when I put a standard one inch bin. I pull down this cullet, I put the bit in, I push it down until it clicks into place, and now I can turn this, but be aware if you put pressure on the screw, it will push the bit in, and get a screwdriver that's much more stubby. In fact, it's the same length as the Klein stubby screwdriver, if you can see that there. Not a lot of reach there, but it will get you into a tighter space. So not really sure why Klein decided to put stubby bits in here. I mean, I get it, it's a stubby driver, you have stubby bits, but I think this would be a better tool with standard bits. Then you could load this bit carousel out whichever way you would like. So it'd be nice if this had standard one inch bits in it. But outside of that, I think it's a good driver. I think it's very handy. It's something where you could use this really as your everyday screwdriver, because once you extend this out, it does feel like a ball grip style screwdriver that you could spin with your fingertips, where a lot of stubbies wouldn't feel that way. Now the bits are a little bit hard to get out. It might need a little bit of breaking in, but I find they're kind of hard to pry out and put into the screwdriver. Now let's see how it compares to this PB Swiss screwdriver, the PB8453. You can see this is Swiss made, made in Switzerland. Now I pull the cap open on this and you can see these bits come out super easy. Just lift up on that bit a little bit. Just comes right out super easy, no problem. It has a super strong magnet. If you're looking for a magnetic bit holder, 
This thing's really got one of the strongest magnets I've ever seen. Very nice screwdriver here from PB Swiss, but it costs about three times as much as your standard Klein stubby. You can have multiple of these in different locations, but if you're looking for a good stubby screwdriver, this thing's hard to beat. And you can see how these two compare in terms of size. The PB Swiss is just a tad longer, but they're more or less the same length. So let me know in the comments what you think of this Klein screwdriver. Do you like it? Do you have one? Do you think it's handy? Also, what do you think of these stubby bits? Do you think it's good to have stubby bits in here? Or would you like to see standard one inch bits? I'll have a link to all these items in the description. Please remember to like and subscribe. All those actions help me to continue to bring content to you on this channel. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.